when you're late on an episode getting it out of me it's all my fault is it it well i'm gonna blame this week on my dentist mm-hmm. we and were both lazy we were both, yeah so and we're we didn't get ahead like we should <laughs> but we're back we're back and, and one day you know. we'll keep a promise yeah <laughs> mm. uh hi there my name is ramon and i'm keaton alexander and this is how to not which is a show in which we read uh wiki how articles and we uh we sure do we, we learn instructions on how to live a normal life yep. uh, of normal, everyday social interactions that will not scare anybody off or make you them think you're weird. That is a perfect description of what we do here. It's concise. It is efficient. <laughs> and I think what I like most of all, it's made with love. It is. A lot of love. What was your last two weeks like, Rob? Um, didn't really do anything. Yeah, me either. Mm-hmm. It's great. Yeah, my hair grew out to the point that I now have to wear a man bun, which is uh, a visual that no one needed. It looks fine in their lives. It looks okay. Yeah, that happened in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, my hair grows really quick. I need I need a haircut every two and a half weeks. You do. Your if hair I, is freakish. I don't like it. No, I wore it down that one day. Yeah, it was uh, good. And I kind of liked it, but then I just can't do it again. Like it just like it just now, won't let you. It won't let me. Oh, it, it's like a. Uh, it's like in that Halloween episodes of The Simpsons where yeah. Snake's hair is just like has mind of its own. Yeah. Which is probably a parody of something I'm not sure of. Yeah, I don't know about that. Do you want to know what today's article sure. is? Sure. Um, how to create a warrior cat prophecy. Great. Now, I'm going to tell you, I did a little bit of research about this because I read it a little bit and was like, this can't just be a WikiHow thing. Mm-hmm. It is appearing to be based off of a series of books written by a collective of women who all call themselves Aaron Hunter and write books about cats on adventures. What kind of adventures? Can you throw out some examples? Because they're warrior cats, so I assume you mean adventure. Yeah, absolutely. In Indiana Jones type. It's, you know, it's like really intense. Mm-hmm. It's um, really there. So we have, um, you know, uh, a vision of shadows, uh, shattered sky, um, where they just go out and have prophecies that these cats need to fulfill. They they sell hardcovers for $17. Okay. This is like a real thing. Now, here, here's what I'm genuinely trying to yeah. figure out. Is this like... They go out on adventures in a Lord of the Rings style fantasy, like fights or whatever. Or is it like these cats go out on adventures when you're not looking, like little little toys from Toy Story? No, I think it's the first one because they all have clans, like Sky Clan and Shadow Clan and okay. Star Clan. I went too deep on this. Wasn't research. there a My Brother, My Brother and Me that was specifically <laughs> about like what do I name my cat? And it was just like yeah. all names like this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're we're delving in that. Sure. Uh, I'll be- I think we've been pretty straightforward about like, <laughs> hey, this is my brother, my brother, and me, but not as good. So that's I our just goal. want you to also note, twenty nine people co authored this, mm-hmm. and it has a so more five star rating. Ninety seven percent of readers found this article helpful. So okay. it is like a top tier article. Okay, sweet. Here's the description. Many plots in the Warriors series re- involve prophecies given to cats by Star Clan. You may want to include these in your fan fiction as well. There is a particular style of writing for these prophecies, so follow these instructions to create a realistic one that will leave the readers in suspense and help advance your plot. So we're not we're not we're not writing fan fiction. We're not writing fan we're fiction. Treating we're treating this We came across this just as a title. Completely uh, innocently. Our friend Cat, no relation. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> You didn't pick up on that? I, didn't. I picked That's up really on that funny. pretty immediately. Uh, our friend Kat, wonderful friend of the podcast. Yeah, she's great. Uh, sent us that headline. And just the headline, I'm like, yeah, we're we doing read, this. Yeah, we're doing it. You did the research. We're just approaching this as we as want. As if I want to write a, I want to write a prophecy about Chachki, my cat. I grew up with four cats. So one of them one of them deserves a, one an of epic them warrior deserves backstory. Prophecy. So here we go. Yes. We're gonna start building this, and you can too. <laughs> Part one. Which cats are affected by the prophecy? One, figure out how the cat learned about the prophecy. How did your cat find out about the prophecy? Did he or she see it in a dream? Go to the moonstone slash moon pool and share tongues with Star Clan, receive an omen, or if they're a leader, see it at their nine lives ceremony? Here's how I picture it. <laughs> My cat. Yeah. One day. One normal day. It always starts yeah. it's a normal day. It's a normal day. Uh went to his or her litter box. Yeah. <laughs> found that there were shreds of paper lining the litter box from an ancient text. Oh, my God. This ancient text <laughs> told them that they were foretold to be saviors of the tabby type. Of, of the, the tab- tabby type. Of the tabby clan. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, they did not know what to do with this information. From an outside per- observer, you might think that they did their business and then wandered <laughs> off for about two weeks and nothing happened. Because maybe they didn't. 
understand that because they're a cat. Uh, but oh my God. if you use your imagination and you squint your eyes a little bit, I think that cat saw that it was going down a yeah. new road that day. Yeah. Um, my cat um, mm-hmm. found out about her prophecy whilst uh, staring into her water bowl one day after a particularly raucous time with catnip. Mm-hmm. She foretold the stars telling her that she was going to be the ruler of everything that the shadows touch. This is all her kingdom. This is all her kingdom. Mm-hmm. Everything that the shadows touch. So everything she, that the shadows touch. Yeah, she only comes out at night. Okay. And she doesn't step in daylight. She's kind of like a vampire. <laughs> so if it's at night and it's everything the shadows yeah. touch with, you know, darkness of, of the sun because yes. the sun is out of our sky. The sun is a cat. We'll circle back to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because if you think of it in a certain way, nighttime is just the shadow of the earth between the, earth. the sun. Yeah. Yeah. It's because the earth is not visible in the sky. So therefore it's project. Like people know what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So you, it's just a very roundabout way to say. My cat owns the world. Owns everything, everything you can see. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Second step. Mm-hmm. Determine the cats or cat to whom the prophecy relates. Who are the cats mentioned in the prophecy? Which cat or cats must receive the prophecy? Also, determine the cats or cats who give the prophecy. This will usually be a Starkland cat, one whom was important to the cats in question. Okay. So, Chachki. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick Hobbs of the various cats that I had when All I was right. growing up. Yeah. Apparently, they were part of this Star Clan. Yeah. Star something yeah. clan? Yeah. What Star Clan. Star Clan. Okay. It seems Obviously. like well, it seems like we're not being given a very much freedom no. in how our cats interact gonna, with yeah w- with this lore. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like we should be given more freedom. Freedom. That's that's how you write a great story. Yeah. Is that you you just have no rules. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, we could lean into this, but the fact that we know literally nothing about this yeah. world means that it's going to constantly contradict itself. <laughs> We might do things like we have already done about two <laughs> steps into this wiki how where yeah. we have established some sort of basic improvisational foundation yes. and then being immediately contradicted by the details that are being given. You know what? It's They should have given it in a different order then, right? Like they should have said, don't contradict anything first. This is the wiki house problem. It's maybe, not ours. Maybe the article should start with, okay, before you do this, <laughs> read you, a do, book. you do need to read about <laughs> the 73 books that are in yeah. this series for essential backstory. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we know how our cats are being affected by the prophecy, but we got to create the prophecy. Step one is determine the underlying meaning. Every prophecy needs a main message or meaning. For example, in the books, the prophecy fire alone will save the clan serves a great purpose. Say there's a cat named Brosthorn, and she is destined to save the forest. This is a useful example to follow through with. That's where that ends, just so you know. That is the entire step. I followed. Okay, so... All? None. No, I followed none of that. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay, so every prophecy needs a main message or meaning. Chachki's main message mm-hmm. is that she owns the world. Mm-hmm. And one day we'll have to save it. Okay. Yeah. From what? From... Maybe we'll get there in a future the step. The fire cat. From the fire cat. Yes. What you don't know, Hobbs is destined to be the fire cat. Holy shit. Well, now we've got ourselves <laughs> in this corner. You and me are going to be duking it out (laughs) by our cat proxies. Excellent. We'll see how this works. (laughs) Okay. And this this is like a little, like, you know how I usually complain that WikiHow articles aren't specific enough? What are you talking about? (laughs) This one. What are you talking about? This one gives you instructions on how to word the prophecy. I mean, is it old English? Is it (laughs) modern? Can we just... (laughs) colloquially just <laughs> just saying that rose thorn will save the forest is dull and lacks emphasis okay well <laughs> to each their own it just it's insulted a subjective its first view. step mm-hmm. makes you it- might have started writing the prophecy already <laughs> well S- fuck you stop that you're fucking garbage <laughs> you're a garbage cat look you might have started writing this prophecy i just reread your first sentence psychically <laughs> as i'm writing this wiki article you gotta stop it's, this is bad. Got, it's you did bad mm-hmm. make it seem more mysterious and cryptic maybe you could try something like the flower will bloom and become the light that shines from the stars and breaks through the darkness of shade was that english it was but it was also uh <clears throat> not useful this- um I, I i feel like yeah and this might be Absolutely. the author's style and to each their own yeah. uh 
that's a lot of words for the sake of words. It I, is. I would say, I would say, just like uh, everything that the shadows touch yeah. belongs to you. Yeah. It's like, look at this. Y- yours. It's yours. That's four so words. Four look words. at this. Yours. Yeah. Look at this. Yours. A- again, efficiency. It just is. Just like in the intro. <laughs> you want efficiency, efficient. eloquence. That's what you want. <laughs> How many times have you been reading a prophecy? <laughs> I'm like three. daily with my just, daily like with my coffee and my eggs in the morning. The morning I'm reading prophecy. a prophecy, the morning prophecy that lands on my doorstep, and I just want to get just, through it. I want to know so what's going to happen. You know, the editors keep being like, we have to fill word counts, so mm-hmm. they just put the, that reads like an English essay from university where they're like, you got to have this many words, mm-hmm. and you just start putting things in instead of being like, there is. You were like, once in. The year that this was professed to happen, mm-hmm. there was, and that's how you put there is. It reminds me of a uh, imagine <laughs> imagine the writing of a high school essay that has a word count where yeah. you're just like, "All right, let's flower this thing up." <laughs> With also the uh, big news about uh, uh, J Lo's baby, uh, click <laughs> please click here to get to page three. Of this online article to find out what the key info is. And the key info is, she said, I would like to have a baby someday. And you're like, well, why did I write that This um, This is my favorite part of this particular step is Mm -hmm. there's like a little like help tip that Mm -hmm. says, do not make the prophecy obvious. Include twists that are not immediately apparent to the reader or the cat. Now, is this in the writing of the prophecy, or is this in how the prophecy plays out? This is in creating the prophecy. you got to make it confusing for the cat, because we all know cats can read English. So as you're presenting this prophecy yeah. to the cat, you're like, tchotchke, yeah. listen up. What up, bud? You are going to go on an epic quest. Yes. You're going to wield a magic scepter of some yes. kind. Now, you're going to be joined by various allies. Uh, Tom. Uh, <laughs> Tom Cat. Piddle. Uh, Piddle. <laughs> Uh, Tom and Piddle are going to be by your Tom side. Tom and Piddle. But here's the thing. Here's the twist. You're not going to see it coming. Piddle is an enemy that will secretly betray you. Yeah. Try to forget that. That doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. Chachki's on her, his Ch- toes Ch- now. Her? His. Her. Her? Her. her. This is on in, her I didn't toes? immediately know my cat's gender. <laughs> I started saying the sentence over again because I thought we were just going to edit out that I rudely didn't know the gender of your cat. But even you didn't. So I, I didn't. feel like that gives me a little yeah, cover. Yeah, does. Little cover. So Chachki's out there in, in a genderless void. <laughs> <laughs> the same one that I occupy. <laughs> Chachki's out there. They need to enact this prophecy. Yep. <laughs> but they know what's gonna happen. So that that's like uh 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 I, I had a, a tight five of stand-up when I was in high school. Yeah. <laughs> that, that revolved almost entirely around the Twilight movies that were coming oh, out at no. the time. Uh, I'm half joking. But what annoyed me when I was forced to watch one yeah. of those Twilight movies is one of those vampire siblings had the power to see the future. That she didn't use it. But my, my interpretation, yeah. tell me if I'm wrong, yeah. was they could, that, per, that uh, woman could see the future, yeah. but only if everybody continued to do exactly what they did. Yeah, which is, like, the most useless power you could possibly exactly. have. Exactly. Because it's like, I don't know the second what's going to come out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. If I just started saying something differently, all of a sudden the future would change. But let's do let's do a test right now. Yeah. Kaylin. Yeah. If you say the sentence, uh, elephants like water. Yes. Uh, you will die tomorrow. What are you going to say? Elephants like water. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> life is meaningless. Your point. <laughs> ah, you're proving my point wrong entirely. <laughs> I'm saying you can't have a, a deterministic future. I'm a with millennial. Free will. We don't give a shit. Uh, well, this is a great last episode of the podcast. <laughs> but it's a it's a useless power. So why why are you writing out the twists in the prophecy? Is the prophecy are they the, using the, the word so, prophecy uh, the, so, to say the story that you're writing overall, or are they saying prophecy in what you what is actually told to the cat at the beginning of the story? I think it's just like prophecy, something that's been written the cat doesn't necessarily know about. Okay. Which should have been the first step would be don't tell your cat the prophecy. Or, and this is a very rare occurrence on yes. WikiHow, they should have given us certain information up front. <laughs> really? That wow, sometimes that's such this a happens. Rare sometimes thing. it happens on WikiHow. Sometimes. Okay. We're still creating the prophecy. Step How many three. steps do we have? We there's, took a while on that one. There's five steps. 
to okay. creating the prophecy, and then it just ends. That's the end. It just tells you how to create the prophecy. Uh, those it doesn't tell you how to fulfill it. I have a feeling those community questions. Oh, they're they're gold. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Note that prophecies and warriors do not rhyme and do not sound like a poem, so don't fuck it up. They, <laughs> they will include hints about their meaning, but mm-hmm. will be vague and open to interpretation. They're usually highly symbolic. For example, if the characters are Ice Talon and White Fire, mm-hmm. sure, don't say the ice will beat the white. Instead, say something like Frozen Talons may be strong enough to rip apart the white destruction. The white destruction? I want to name That's a specifically- cat White Destruction. <laughs> Coming onto the field now. It is white destruction. White destruction. <laughs> if your cat's went into sports or wrestling of some kind. Yeah. Wrestler Great. cats? Wrestler cats. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so that's the yeah. world that set this in. Yeah. Wrestler cats. Wrestler cats. Tchotchke and yeah. Hobbs yeah. would be forced to enter the ring. Yes. Uh, Tchotchke, white destruction, yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Hobbs, uh, what was the other one? <laughs> the fire talons? Frozen talons. Frozen talons. Do cats have talons? No. That's a bird. That is a bird. I'm moving. No, okay. we're, keep, yeah, we're keeping, keeping it. it. Look, we sometimes sometimes look, we accept an- anatomical differences. Sometimes you and me, you you and me, Caitlin, we question Wiki how well too, too much, and much. maybe yeah. that undermines the our, intelligence, the effectiveness. Yeah, of it. there it, you our, go. Our intelligence, their intelligence, maybe we're undermining everybody. <laughs> Everyone listening to this. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're wasting your time with this random nonsense babble. But let's assume we're not. Let's assume that we're all working at the height of our knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so, Chachki, White Destruction, Alexander, Alexander versus, versus Hobbs, Hobbs, Frozen Talons. Frozen Talons, Modin. And they are entering the ring, or they have done their way in, yeah. and they got into a little a bit of a cat fight. Oh. Ah. And then every time that doesn't happen at one no. of those weigh-ins, people get very disappointed because yeah. they're waiting to use that they pun. Are. Um, and they are going to be fighting for uh, all that the shadows touch. Yes. All right, we're on the we're on the track. We're on Excellent. track. Excellent. Okay. Mm-hmm. There will be some betrayal by uh, <clears throat> Piddle. 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 Piddle uh, and Tom. Piddle will defect to Hobbs' side, but Tom. the cats shouldn't know that, although we accidentally told Chachki. Yeah. Chachki knows more than Hobbs at this point, so there's a little bit of an advantage. Well, in a way, that's very wrestling, isn't it? It is. That they know the outcome, but they ha- but they pretend that they don't. You're not wrong there, Rob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Am I secretly a genius working at the height of my intelligence? Or, or... Uh, did I undermine how... <laughs> Just r- rough shot. This whole story is second one. One of them. <laughs> one of them. We're rusty. We've been out of the game for a few weeks podcasting. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Determine how the prophecy can be fulfilled. Okay. How will the cat fulfill the prophecy? Do they need to find, rescue, or kill another cat? Locate the clan safely across unknown paths. Do they need to die themselves? Maybe go against the forces of nature, or maybe even go against the warrior code and abandon their clans. We didn't set up any of these details. We should have fucking read step four Some first. Some world building. Who the hell thinks world building comes last? You Why need- do 97% of readers think this was helpful? <laughs> What you need to do is know the world beforehand, because then you know how. The- I just read a whole article about how. Yeah. Uh, do you know? Did you know that, that the writer of Bright went, tweeted back in like 2015 that it's like I wrote my Star Wars. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! It's since been deleted, but it was a whole article <laughs> that I didn't read. Actually, I didn't read the whole article, but it, the, <laughs> the point of it was essentially like. The point of it was essentially like, all right, so Bright in the world of Bright, the Netflix original film Bright. Yes. Um, a classic. Classic genius film the holiday will smith classic joel edgerton <laughs> the holiday joel edgerton classic it'll be playing every christmas in your house oh man what a bright and fluffy film <laughs> <laughs> did you mean to do that no okay <laughs> <laughs> so in in that movie the concept is thousands of years ago yeah. there was magic and there are creatures sure and uh, thousands of years ago yeah. i think something like 2000 before christ or something okay but Everything else in the world is exactly the same as it went. I think world wars still happen the exact same way. Clearly, they're still working on a Christian timetable, even though there are wizards in this world predating Jesus. And one would assume Jesus is was a wizard, yeah, and therefore not that special, yeah, to build an entire religion (laughs) around and from Christianity. According to Bright, Jesus was not special. (laughs) Did you hear about the production company that made Bright? No. The name of it? It's something like uh, Triggered Productions. 
No. You are wide mouth. This is 100% real. I might have, I might have, it's something along those lines. Holy shit. Now, so a lot of people are like, yeah, bright, uh, uh, take that, liberal, liberals. Oh, take that, snowflakes. Yep. Oh, you shoot all like Cause that. Because also in, in the trailer, Will Smith bats a, a fairy, like kills a fairy or something. Yeah, and says fairy lives don't matter today. Yeah, exactly. I watched half a bright in the background <laughs> of something. It was like a fucking experience. So. I feel like there's been some conservatives who have latched onto and gone like, this is our movie. Mm -hmm. They could have it. Did you know that Bright thinks that Jesus isn't that special? (laughs) Did you know that Bright fucking sucks? (laughs) Take that, conservatives. Look, apparently they won't accept that argument. But if you say, you know what they say about Jesus, he was just just an average wizard. He could could be out expelliarmus to buy one of the Harry Potter crew. Oh my god. They would blow their gaskets. Somewhere, someone somewhere just... Just blew up. Here's a question. What were we talking about? I don't fucking remember, <laughs> Rob. Something about world caps building, and world prophecies. building, world building, world building. So the like, world, the world of Bright doesn't make sense, and the, and yeah, because everyone's reacting as if it's the real world, but that just seems incompatible, and it strikes you as uh, disconnected. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, what's the word? Cognitive dissonance. Of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Things should go one way. It doesn't make sense that they ended up just the like are. this world with cats. Yeah, we that we've created. We had to add on the wrestling element. It's now a wrestling world at the very last yes. minute, and that changes the entirety Everything. of how people behave. Yes, the is layers. cat wrestling a, a legal thing? Is first a, of all, is a league? Are you mandated to go into wrestling? Is it a Hunger Games system of somebody is lottery into? Are cats into? still? Owned by humans, or are they their own entities? We don't we know, just... Wiki How, and you should have set that up for us. I, I would uh, like to tell you, this is the last and final step, by the way. This is, this is the worst article I've ever read. Okay, wow. Insulting 27, <laughs> 27 authors all at once there? Yeah. Figure out how the prophecy will be shown to the cat you figured out must receive it. Say that Rose Soren gets the prophecy. She could be told by her mother, who died and went to Starkland. That is it. We already told our cats. Yeah, you should have put that at the beginning. They like, have they have their wrestling outfits all picked out. They're their tights, their spanks. Like they're there. They're Wrestlers ready. Wear spanks, right? Do they? Sure. Yeah. So that was it for the entirety of that article. It feels like it feels. And we're like... running pretty short on our usual runtime, so it feels like <laughs> that could have been fleshed out a it, little more. It feels like it's the author of this. Didn't have much to go on. Look, we wanted to get back in the game, so we thought that this was a good subject, but also a pretty short article. It's great. So we're it's building mm. momentum. We're building momentum back up for the podcast. So this the community Q and yep. I'd like you to know is mm-hmm. just a bunch of people asking, "Is this prophecy good?" and then inserting the prophecy that they wrote and asking for advice, and then the authors going like, "Yes, really, literally, always, it's yes." Hmm. <laughs> so they have. So they didn't. It was back in step two or three that they didn't like what we were cooking up. Yeah. But apparently all of these community Q&A <clears throat> comments are gold. So this this is my favorite one. Yep. A kit with pelt like snow and eyes like stars will melt the frost and douse the blaze and kill the dove which flies so strong and crush the pearl so the clan is gone. So <laughs> I interpret that as there was a land dispute between... Uh, <laughs> Two neighbored cats, yeah. and then one of them stabbed the other in the middle of the night and buried the heart under the floorboards, which is now uh, racking him with guilt as he hears the tick, tick, ticking of the telltale heart. Sure. Who, who is around to tell me I'm wrong? No, no one. one. No, no one. <laughs> Do you know that every Edgar Allan Poe story started from cat prophecy? What? Yeah. A good fact. <laughs> mm-hmm. The cask of Amontillado. <laughs> they just wanted some of that sweet, sweet uh, milk. Yeah, oh, in. for sure. Is the, ca- is the cask of milk <laughs> behind that wall. Okay. So, I didn't realize what how happened? big that this fucking Warrior Cat series is. Uh-huh. The related wiki house are all about warrior cats. Okay. We might not necessarily go into that because we thought this was a fun con- uh, continuance of our accidental cat saga that we have made of podcast episodes yeah yeah that's it we've apparently stumbled onto something much i'm larger. terrified of what we've stumbled on too okay so that's it for this week <laughs> that's the that's the end of the community q a yeah except for except for our favorite question mm-hmm. um rob mm-hmm. what do i do if i shit my pants mm-hmm. while creating a warrior cat prophecy now 
I think one thing that we touched on, yeah, but we need to talk more about, yeah, is that such colloquial language as "I shit my pants." Yes, not acceptable. Okay, in the we have to realm. we have to prophesize the shitting of the pants. You gotta fancy in, in that nice thing up, flower it up. High school essay when up. when the moon is mm-hmm. high mm-hmm. and the pants are on. Can we can we change a pants? Yeah, yeah the, when the trousers sure are full. Mmm. In yeah. When the moon is high and the trousers are full. Mm-hmm. You, you were you were <laughs> oh, nailing it. I was you were there. Gonna, when okay. the moon is high and the trousers are full, <clears throat> and the clock has already struck the zero hour. Yeah. Yeah. Being the countdown to yeah. shitting your pants. The 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 brown plague will hit the prophesier. The prophesied. The brown plague will hit the prophecy. Brown plague, new thing I'm calling boo. <laughs> the brown plague will hit. The brown plague must be delivered. Ooh, yeah. Must be delivered and expunged. Yeah. In order to keep societal bounds tethered. Gotcha. That's it, you guys. Put that on a t shirt. All right. <laughs> Great. We're good. Imagine. It's all good. You just like wake up one day and everything is just written in these like incredibly like vague prophetic. Like, I'm gonna languages. make a cross stitch of this entire thing. I feel like I just like went to another world and came back. Had a religious experience. I did. You know that Jesus wizard? He helped me out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I feel like Ron Weasley could have helped you out more. Yeah, it's he's true. a better wizard. Yeah, do also look more like him. Than according to the world, of, else. according to the world of bright. <laughs> Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley was just as powerful as Jesus. Ron Weasley, greater than <laughs> math symbol, Jesus Christ. Put that on a shirt. Ron oh Weasley, greater, greater than, than symbol, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's a quote. The Netflix original, <laughs> Bright, starring Joel Edgerton. If we got nothing out of, else out of this episode, oh we at least have God. that. Okay. So that was this week's episode. We're more tired than I think we were um, like, thinking going into this. Yeah. It's a midday recording, so it's not it's not as on point as a morning recording, no. and it's not as loopy as an end of day recording. So we'll get there. What I would like to see on social, though, oh, no. is for you to tweet your cat prophecies with a cat photo of your choice of your own cat. Or someone else's cat. Or someone else's cat. Just steal somebody's and, uh, cat photos. Um... We're going to try and guess what the fuck you're trying to say. Mm. And that's going to be a fun game that I will also be playing with Rob. Uh, you got 280 characters got now 280 on that characters. Twitter.com. Yeah. So, uh, one, ideally, once your prophecy, your flowery prophecy yeah. is shrunk down to a normal, everyday human, human language, language, it should be much less than 280 80 characters. Yes. So, no multi-tweet prophecies no that's one it has to be in one tweet you mm-hmm. have to attach a photo of a cat mm-hmm. and then we got to guess that brilliant prophecy that you are about to present this brilliant creature mm-hmm. that's what we would like that's what i would like really alternately or just on top yeah. of that if you can submit your uh versions of bright <laughs> the netflix original film starring joel edgerton <laughs> reenacted by cats oh my god i think that that is a worthwhile Absolutely. spending of everyone's time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you can tweet that at our Twitter, which is at How to Not Show, all one word. Um, if you see any articles that you like that you would like us to chat about, please let us know so that we don't talk about cats any more often than we have to. Which mm-hmm. is maybe we'll take a break on the cats. Yeah, for we're gonna a while. just back off the cats for a while. So we you... were we were gung ho about cats, and maybe that maybe, cats. maybe that went a little too far this time. <laughs> Uh, and if you uh, leave us a, re- a five star review on iTunes, uh, we will shout you, out. shout you out. None this week, but none this week. But you could be next. Yeah, everyone, everyone that sounds really vaguely terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you could be next. <laughs> One more time, just like so I can sound clip that out and send it to my enemies. <laughs> you could be next. Why aren't you in voiceover? At why aren't, are you doing any voice acting? Fuck Rob, I would if I could. I oh, would yeah. love it. You're still recovering from the dentist. Yeah. You yeah. should have heard me this morning. Oh, man. We were almost going to podcast. Yeah. Uh, we almost podcasted with my mouth half numb. Mm-hmm. It sounded so good. 
it took about 20 minutes to have a five minute business conversation yeah it was really really embarrassing all right it was great i think that's it for this week okay you all have fun now you hear (laughs) i'm gonna beat box this out i'm sorry everyone we'll be back next week (laughs) Skeptic, <laughs> 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 <laughs>